hi guys in this video we're gonna start building our new web app that's called robo friends in this robo friends you can see there are some uh, cards in which there are robots and with their names and email and also you can see that whenever we uh, type any name it will filter out the name of uh, that robot like just clean so we're gonna build this so before building it we're gonna use the tool that uh, uh, facebook provides uh, so that developer can easily write only the react code and do not to uh, and not to worry about what going on under the hood so that's called create react app what it do that it will just we're gonna write any react code and it will convert the, that react code into the older javascript code so that our browser can understand that um, react code so yeah so we're gonna install through npx create react app and the name of the app in here you can see that npx is not a typo it's just a package runner tool which comes after the version of 5.2 of npm i have already installed or i have already used the command i have used i have created a new folder react course and in there i'm i have go to the react course folder by using cd and i have used npx create react app and the name of the app that you want and it will install it will take some time I have already installed it and uh, then I have gone to the CD Robo Friends, the app folder and I have opened the in our Visual Studio Core and you can see in here that this is the Visual Studio Core uh, Robo Friends app. You can see in here that this is the name. Yeah robo friends and we're gonna see what uh, the package dot json what are the scripts and what are the dependencies are there first two main are react and react hyphen dom react what is used for like base which is used for creating a ui or creating view and there is one react hyphen dom this is what we use when we are gonna use for a web, web app there is one other another like uh, other doms other uh, yeah other doms like uh, react native which is used for uh, apps there is other react 360 that is for um, VR apps so yeah and in here there is one react scripts and this is the one important because this through this that we are seeing all the or using the create react app yeah in this it will convert the code that we are gonna write in the source folder and it will convert that script into some other code or other codes and it will soon into the browser so we don't have to worry about any babel or web pack in here there are some scripts you can see what are the scripts are here there is one and start start is what will we do first i've already used the npm start so you just have to write like this if you are new just write npm start and uh, just enter it and you can see what is going on and this is what will be shown into your browser or into your command prompt and when you open into your browser you can see this is what it looks like and uh, yeah and uh, there is one build build is what we used for we run this script when we're gonna use this our project into production like uh, anyone can see our, pro our project so that's 
when we are gonna build use our build script this test testing and we're gonna use this one when we're gonna test some cases uh, yeah and there is one exact exact we're gonna use when uh, like we're gonna configure our some babel configure yeah babel and webpack so not to worry about exact we don't have to use exact here so now we are gonna see in our app.js in app.js you can see that we have first imported the react from react because this is what we do when we're gonna show any um, any view so this you can see in here this div tag and all the things that are written here this is what we see in our project in our localhost 3001 this is what it looks like and in here you can see that how can we uh, import some css we can import through uh, dot slash app dot css or import some svg file or image file this is how can we do we will see how can we how can we write uh, how it is written in code in here this you can say this is a functional component called app this is functional component app you can convert this into a class component app we will see how can we do this and there's one more features about uh, of a react app create react app like uh, whenever like we're gonna change something like uh, hello and if we save it we don't have to like uh, refresh the browser or anything we can see that it will be uh, reflected back to the our browser instant or it will say take one or two seconds if the project is big so so this is how this is important but uh, there's one thing how it is linked to the like we cannot see any index or the html file because this is what necessary in here so you can see there is one app and there is one here you can see index.js let's see what it is in index.js yeah you can see in here index.js uh, in here you can see the app and the same app that we have used in here so yeah this is the one that have imported that that is the describing to this app.js file in here you can see that we are going to use react dom dot render it will like react dom will be rendering this app component and in the all app component is linked to the document dot get element by id root hmm so there is one root id somewhere so where it is so we're gonna just log into our public folder in public folder there is one index.html and we open it index.html you can see oh there is one index.html file in here in, he in here you can see yeah there is one div id equal to root so this is how it is linked you can see this is how it is linked to this index.js if you are not like uh, i'm just babbling about something you can see in here our uh, inspector in here you can see divide equal to root and in here there is div class equal to app you can see that the same thing are written there in our code and when we open like components you can see there is one component app but there is nothing in there because yeah, because this is one component that was written so yeah so this can we say that we have like understood something about like um, from the top what it what it is going on how these all are linking how these all are linked and now we're gonna just build our this simple or sample react project into this robo friends app
Ja, yeah. thank you.